Hey guys, before I get into this week's reviews, I just want to let you know that I have reviewed 151 items, including these ones this week. And I'm very close to 150 subscribers, so I wanted to do a giveaway as a thank you for all of you who have supported me. All you have to do is like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite Lush product is or what you'd like to try out. When I hit 150 subscribers, I'll take all of the commenters' usernames and put it into a random generator and one lucky winner will get a Lush gift box from me. I'll put all the details in the description below, so be sure to read them and good luck. On to the reviews. First up is Butterball, the bath bomb. This bomb makes a creamy buttery froth, like bathing in a stick of butter. You can see the grease-like spots on the bomb and the chunks of cocoa butter and its wonderful moisturizing effects. It smells faintly of vanilla, but it's sweet, yet simple. It's nice, well, okay, but you do feel like you emerge with a wax coating, as if you just got yourself a car detail job. And you kind of also slip and slide in the tub, so be sure to give your tub a nice rinse afterwards. My skin feels amazing when I get out of the tub with this balm. Next is Respect Your Elders. This is a soap and it is brand new for 2016. I like the smell of elderberries, so I knew I would be in love with this one. I'm also obsessed with the rich dark colors. It's so beautiful. It bubbles up quite nice, but the smell doesn't last which surprises me actually because as it sits alone in my bathroom, it completely saturates the room and smells amazing when it's under the water, but it doesn't transfer to my skin all that well and you don't even smell it like a minute later. As with all Lush soaps, you do get that hard water feel. Yes, it looks like you're gonna stain your fingers and sink with how dark it is and you can see the purple, but trust me, it doesn't stain. Next is Foot Soak and Fancy Free. So I was gonna use my foot tub, like you know, that those like bubbler foot things, but I am very proud to say that there was no blonde moment that day. You'll see why I say that in a minute. It's packed with ingredients to soften hard skin like Epsom and fine sea salts and also Irish moss powder. The seaweed in this is not like their others in, for example, Big Blue. This is the kind of seaweed that looks totally fake and should be in your child's fish tank plastic decor, I'm not even joking. Anyway, I suggest using the whole thing because it doesn't seem as moisturizing as you would think for how big it is. All of this stuff just turns into a grainy mush pile and you really have to mix it in the water or it'll just collect in that pile at the bottom. I think it's kind of a hype in a way though because the most relaxing thing about this is that you've got your feet in really warm water. It's meh and make sure you know how you're gonna clean it up. For me, I used my handy dandy fishnet. Lush seems to really want you to clog your drains with most of their product, LOL. So this is sugar scrub and it has to stay on its little plastic bag because I messed it all up. It's tough on cellulite and unwanted bumps, but really kind on your skin. It's made with fair trade sugar, fennel, and ginger. So the object of the game is to not get it wet. Get yourself wet, but don't get it wet. It has lavender in it, but I think it smells earthier than that. A bit like Guardian of the Forest. So grass, almost. I love how exfoliating it is because it's sugar and it doesn't have that edge like the salt scrubs do. So it's very gentle. Without thinking, even though I know not to do it, I dunked my sugar scrub. It turned into a mush pile. If you don't want yours to do that and you want it to stay intact, do not put it in water. Not even just a little dip. After mine fully dried, like so, I'm able to grab like little chunks off of it, so that's that's good. And I kind of like that a little bit better because I'm not holding the entire thing while trying to like scrub my body and whatnot. So, you know, I kind of like the smaller chunks once I, you know, pick at it. But um, yeah, if you want it to stay the way that it's supposed to be shaped, don't get it wet. This is Karma Cream Body and Hand Lotion. This is the signature Lush scent of orange flower and patchouli. So obviously it's spicy citrus, or you guys know as I call it, the hippie smell. It's a pretty great lotion. It goes on very smoothly, lasts a long time, and moisturizes very well. Though it does seem to be a tad bit on the greasy side. Lastly is Miranda Soap. This is called the Fruit Salad of Soap. Because because it's got fresh organic kiwi to tone and brighten skin, as well as bergamot for soothing orange scented effects. I really like the kiwi seeds. It adds texture to the soap, but it has that hard water feel, kind of hard to lather, even though it is a very creamy soap. That's all I have for you guys today. And I know I usually say, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next week but definitely be sure to like and subscribe and remember to comment down below what your favorite Lush product is or what you'd like to try out. I'm really excited for this giveaway and I really hope you guys participate. I wanna thank you guys very much. So yeah, I'll see you next week.